Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So I thought this would be kind of a fun video idea because you know I'm always testing Dollar Tree makeup as new products come about and I'm always using makeup that I've had from Dollar Tree um, and I tend to have really decent Dollar Trees in my area so I'm very lucky but um, I just recently did a full face of Shop Miss A makeup and I thought this would be a fun idea to see which things for me I personally like better from Dollar Tree or what I liked better from Shop Miss A and why. So I thought this would be fun. I really want to do this with the um, makeup that I bought from Sheen maybe a couple, three months ago. Um, so if you like this video idea, definitely let me know if you'd like to see that. And I do have some Timu makeup coming and I can do the same thing with that too. Um, now I understand, you know, sometimes you can't really find anything at your Dollar Tree. You have to order from online. But I thought this would be kind of fun anyway, just so you know, like what my opinion is. Um, and if you are like me and you have access to like a decent Dollar Tree or decent Dollar Trees, where, you know, where I wouldn't bother with buying online. Um, I do love Shop Miss A, but they do tend to run out of things sometimes that I want, um, and so they come with their own set of issues as well, in my opinion. But what I do love about both of them is they both have bargain makeup items, super wallet friendly, way more affordable than the drugstore, which is, I know, even more expensive than some people can even afford anymore. So that's why I love doing videos like this. So, of course, if you're a returning Dollar Diva, thank you so much for coming on back for another video. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I'm basically a bargain makeup channel. So, I like to do all the same fun content that other makeup channels do, be it they focus on affordable, you know, drugstore, high-end, or luxury. But I like to keep all my videos in that bargain price point. So, I'm talking, so we do lots of Dollar Tree, Shop Miss A, T. Mushin, any kind of bargain makeup I can get my hands on. The closer to $1, the better. And I like to do all the same fun content. Content. Um, so I will have some content that you might be interested in down below in the description box. Um, definitely check it out after you're done watching this video. And I do hope you'll become part of our Dollar Diva family here on YouTube. I will also have that full face of Shop Miss A that I recently did down below so you can check that out as well. As well as I'll just have a bunch of stuff down there. Definitely go check it out. And so yeah, without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So foundation, I think this is a good place to start. And it's a little bit more of a complicated answer. Now this was a really nice foundation. I had a tricky time. Now I made the look work, but the shade did not work for me. It looks like it would, but it didn't. It was just a little bit too yellow. Like I said, I made it work with powder and bronzer and all that good stuff, but I had a hard time finding my right shade, which, um, you know, it can be tricky on the internet. Um, so for me personally, like this uh, Candy Moyo, uh, BB Cream or foundation, I know I'm either medium or light. LA Colors, I know um, beige or whatever the color they have. You know, generally Be Pure has got two or three shades and I know I'm going to fall in that middle range. Um, so it's easier for me at Dollar Tree and I love like the Candy Moyo face products and the Be Pure face products. So I'm good, like I can get my stuff at the Dollar Tree. But if you have, if you need a special, like if you're dark or really light or just have an, an, a skin tone that's hard to match with two or three shades at the Dollar Tree, you will want to check out uh, Shop Miss A. Um, they also have, which I really want to invest in, if you buy a shade that doesn't work for you on Shop Miss A, you can buy uh, mixing mediums to help lighten foundation. So if you favor it a little bit darker, you can always put like a white mixing medium. It'll make it lighter. Then there's some colors that can make it cooler or warmer, all that good stuff. So, and they've got good shades. I know I've seen really dark shades of this foundation and much lighter shades. So they have a much broader shade range. So definitely some, and it comes in like a nice little glass bottle. I hate a dropper, but, um, but yeah, it's a really nice thing. It was like a dollar 55. So like I said, for me, I prefer Dollar Tree for myself personally. Now, because the finish of the foundation is wonderful, but I get some good finishes also with Dollar Tree foundation as well. But yeah, if you need a, if you need more of a special shade for your skin tone, definitely for you, I would say definitely Shop Miss A. Eyeshadow primer. So this is where I say Shop Miss A um, because Dollar Tree really doesn't sell an eyeshadow primer. Why? I don't know. They tend to have at my Dollar Tree's um, like a face primer, usually be pure, like essentially ageless blurring face primer I can find. But an eyeshadow primer, not so much. Now, I did have a Dollar Diva share like a tip of using the um, light uh, contour stick and all that kind of stuff. Of course, concealer, all that good stuff. But if what you want is a primer, Dollar Tree is not going to have your back. This is, again, is a dollar fifty-five. It's the, it's the AOA Studio um, Shadow Stay Primer. Um, I do have an eyeshadow primer from the Dollar Tree, but it was in a LA Colors Spring Collection 
couple, three years ago. Um, so yeah, in this case, I would say Shop Miss A. So now this one right here, now this is not an AOA brand, it's the Malibu Glitz because they were sold out of the bronzer that I wanted. Um, this was just okay. Um, I need to stay away from that middle like white strip for it to not look kind of odd on my skin. You get a big container, I think it was like a dollar, a dollar thirty or something like that. Um, but for me personally, I do great with bronzer at the Dollar Tree. So yeah, for me this, you know, and for them to be sold out of the one that I wanted, it was a little bit of a bummer. So for me personally, I have no problem picking up my bronzer at Dollar Tree from LA Colors, either their collections or their regular bronzer that they have. If you're cooler toned, you might have to find something a little bit more special and shop Miss A. This one here would actually be a good one if you're a little cooler toned. Um, but yeah, that might be something that you want to go shop Miss A. But for me personally, that's a Dollar Tree item for me. And also the eyebrow pencil. This did a really good job. I really didn't have a whole lot of luck with this end right here, this tapered end. Um, the skinny end was really, really, really nice, but LA Colors just came out with a skinny brow pencil. I have not used it yet, so I don't know what the quality is. Um, this one here worked really good, and I wish, and I kind of wish it was maybe just all of that skinny um, side. Now I love LA Colors, just their brow, their you know their dual eyebrow and liner in one with the sharpener. Love that. That's my current favorite. I also love their regular eyebrow pencils, um, with that come with a little brush on the cap. And they even have some that have a spoolie on the end. I don't like those as much as I like the other two. And then Ioni makes a good brow pencil. Um, they now have a brow powder from LA Colors, which I really like. So for me personally, and then like I said, they just came out with a skinny brow pencil, which I haven't tried. Whether I like it or I don't, Dollar Tree wins for their brow products. Now concealer, this is the AOA Studio Locked Creamy Concealer. I really liked it. I ended up doing okay with the shade. I'm sure it'll be easier to find shades in that dollar one to two dollar price point than at Dollar Tree. Except for La Mercier, which is coming out with dark and light and things in between. And of course, I'm somewhere in between, so it's easy for me to find something at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree hasn't always thrived in the concealer world, but La Mercier kind of changed it. Um, so this one's kind of a toss up. Um, now, if you can find La Mercier, if you have darker skin, you'll probably be okay. If you can't find that, you're probably still gonna wanna go, you might wanna go with Shop Miss A, because they're gonna probably have a better shade range. But this one for me personally, for me Dollar Tree, but like I said, for you, maybe Shop Miss A if your shade range is an issue and you can't find La Mercerie. This for me is a Dollar Tree all the way. Um, now these are okay, the AOA Studio Foam Ink. I've, this is the second set I have had, and I remember really liking them before. I don't think I liked these as much, this style. They also were sold out of all the ones, like the top three that I wanted, they were sold out of. $1.55, I'll just go get an Ioni. There's always a style of Ioni that I like, and I love the new LA Colors. I know I'm a broken record if you've been with me. I love the LA Colors, the new Dramata Lash lashes. They have about six or seven different styles. I really liked their old ones. I also like their jewel eyes. I don't see the jewel eyes as much anymore, but the new LA Colors Dramata Lash lashes are now like my favorite lash. And they're $1.25, they're cheaper. I'm gonna be able to find a style that I like much, much easier. So for me personally, Dollar Tree wins in the lash department. And they're the same thing, they're Foam Mink 3D, fluttery, dimensional, all that good stuff. Yeah, so for me, Dollar Tree wins with eyelashes. And then powder. This one's kind of a toss up for me. I did like this AOA Studio Finishing Pressed Powder. I just got the translucent. It's anti-shine blurred finish. But honestly, La Mercerie has a pressed powder that's a translucent, so it doesn't be pure for me, essentially ageless and Ioni has a mattifying powder, and LA Colors has really nice powders as well. So this is nice, but I don't feel like I need to go out of my way to buy it from Shop Miss A. Personally, for me, a pressed powder, I do just fine at Dollar Tree. Now, if I, what I want is a loose banana powder, Shop Miss A is where it's at, because for like $1.55, you can get their banana powder that comes in like a loose powder form, and it performs like a high-end one, at least in my experience. And Dollar Tree doesn't really have banana powders, yet. Um, but as far as like a pressed powder product like this, I'm still going to go to Dollar Tree. Now the eyeshadow quad. So this was really, really nice. Of course, I always struggle a little bit with pastel. And of course, these look like an elf bite sized palette. Now this shade here was gorgeous and I got a really nice effect. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy the AOA quads. They're nice. If you happen to be on a, uh, Shop Miss A and you need to add some more stuff to your cart, 
these are really nice. Um, but I love the LA Colors quads that come out. Even their new, their newly formulated six pan palettes are nice. And um, the Beauty Intuition palettes are really nice. So like I said, I wouldn't go out of my way unless I was already making an order and I needed to add something to my cart and a color story stood out to you. Um, so like I said, this is a little bit of a toss up for me, but personally, I wouldn't go out of my way unless I just needed to add some more stuff in my cart. And then we get the AOA Studio. This is the AOA Studio Fly With Me Duo Blush and Highlighter. This is in the shade Evolve. I like it for travel, and I really love this shade of blush. It's a little bit unique. But Dollar Tree thrives in the blush and highlighter realm. Ioni, LA Colors, there's so much to choose from. Now, I like the fact that it's a duo. You just throw it in your makeup bag, like if you're traveling, and it's going to take up less space. Um, but other than that, for me personally, I wouldn't go out of my way. For me, this is Dollar Tree wins over Shot Miss A. And then the liquid shadow. This is the AOA Studio Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in Magical Girl, or AOI is the, it's the Magical Girl, I guess, liquid shadow. I don't know. So this is the AOA Studio Liquid Shadow. I got this like blue shade. I like the packaging. You you do get far less in it than you do like, than I believe that you do in the um, LA Colors ones. And LA Colors has been bringing their liquid eyeshadow game this year in their Halloween collection, the new lip and eye bar, um, and then earlier in the year in their spring collection with the purple caps. So I guess, so for me, I don't really have to get it from Shop Miss A. Now this is a slightly different blue shade than the one I think LA Colors came out with, but you know, blue's blue. So ultimately, if you have a decent selection at your Dollar Tree of liquid shadow from LA Colors, you don't have to worry about this. Um, again, or it could be something that you add to your cart if you need to add an extra item. And I really do like this, but Dollar Tree has had my back with liquid eyeshadow this year. Two more products. We get the A2O Lab Liquid Liner. This was really, really, really nice. Um, I do think it was maybe slightly better than the LA Colors Eye Marker. It's got like a little bit of a thinner tip and it was really really easy to use um, packaging was really nice so this one for me could go either way i don't really have a strong opinion you can get a lot like ioni la colors i think even like be pure some other random brands have liquid chat uh liquid liners but like i said if you have a really like terrible dollar tree or you want something that's just packaged a little nicer by all means this is a nice alternative yeah so that one's kind of a little bit of a toss-up for me then last but not least this one's a little tricky because Dollar Tree has a lot of lip products so this is like the wonder matte lipstick from AOA studio I like it but I wouldn't go I'm, I am on the hunt for like a certain color of like I now I did love the consistency of these lipsticks if I could find the right colors I would go out of my way to buy two in the colors that I want but Dollar Tree does have a lot of stuff um it just depends on what you want. Now, I have found like a really fun metallic lip color. I think the last a couple year, few years ago when I did a Shop Miss A full face, I bought like a really fun like metallic lipstick that you can't find at like Dollar Tree or even the drugstore. So this again is kind of a toss up for me. I could go either way. I think they're, these. this is a really nice lip color, but it depends on what you want for shades too. You know, they were out of the red that I wanted, or a couple of the ones that I wanted, so that's a problem. Um, and, you know, of course, Dollar Tree, it just depends on what you find that day, you know. But LA Colors does come out with some really nice um, liquid lipsticks. So for me, this is kind of, it could go either way. It just depends on what your preferences are and what you want, including myself, which just depends on what I want, where I would feel is the best. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you missed my full face of Shop Miss A, I will have that link down below so you can check that out. I thought this would be a fun follow-up video to that because um, I've just had more thoughts at, you know, after talking to you all and all that good stuff. So I just thought this would be a kind of a fun video. Like I said, I'll do this with my Sheen makeup and then eventually my Timu makeup. And um, if this is something that you seem to like. Of course, like this video if you did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.